have been invited actually for the regulatory session uh, to give like regulatory perspective and show where we are because these are very advanced uh, computational model that we are progressively and increasingly seeing now in regulatory application. So now we are thinking about how to set up standard uh, in order to have some objective basis to assess this kind of model in regulatory applications. And in terms of regulation, it's about making sure it's standardised or is it about making sure they're doing it ethically? Actually, in terms of regulators, it's kind of making sure that the drugs that are put on the market on the basis of the result of this model are actually safely and effectively used. So the, the bunch of evidence which is coming from the model need to be as high quality as possible. And, and in case this model are replacing traditional clinical trial, we need to make sure that we are not lowering the standard, lowering this model. But personally, I trust in models because I'm a modeler by background. And uh, I think that we gain actually most, more than losing using models in place of uh, actual clinical trials. So where's, where is it at at the moment? Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of challenges like on the table now. Mo one of them is how do we assess what are the reference uh, we are we're basing ourselves on when looking at this model. And this is not standard yet because we're still on the learning curve uh, in this kind of model. There is currently very few applications, including, including those. And uh, uh, it's from experience that we're learning. So we're still kind of building our knowledge on, on this. And we're discussing with academia people who are really the leading role in this to kind of think together, see with people developing this model, how they themselves, they assess themselves and, and then try to learn from that and see how to set up regulatory standards.